Welcome back. Unreal Engine 5.5 just dropped and there are two really impressive reasons why this release is a big deal. The first of the two primary ones being Megalites, a new trademarked name for this feature. Now with Unreal Engine 5, Megalites is entering experimental state. Now you can make use of textured area lights casting soft shadows and spilling vibrant colors into the scene. A scene like this can be illuminated by hundreds of lights, each of them bringing vibrant atmosphere to the scene, each of these lights casting shadows. This scene contains immense lighting density. A new area of lighting possibilities opens up for lighting artists and environmental designers. Your scenes can now level up and bring life to any configuration of light that your scene requires. This scene alone consists of around 1,700 dynamic light sources. Just look at the majestic display. In their continued endeavor to meet the aim of state-of-the-art graphics, Unreal Engine 5.5 comes with a host of new improvements. The second really big thing is Nanite Skeletal Meshes entering experimental stage with this release. Nanite skeletal meshes have the benefit of offloading the workload to the GPU, which is much faster at render than the CPU. Nanite skeletal meshes allow for hundreds of high quality characters to be on the screen at once to render at high performance. As Unreal Engine continues to mature, the feature set for Nanite and Lumen will continue to expand and encompass more aspects. Other cool things that are coming in 5.5 and will be further worked on in future releases are, among other things, Nanite assemblies, mutable characters, mesh customization, which is entering beta in this release. It is a system meant to help with character visual customization and assisting in convenient ways to handle the age-old issues of clipping clothes by having layers that conform differently depending on items equipped. There are simply so many impressive things in this release and on the horizon for Unreal Engine. I will just list off a bunch of you here. Path Tracer is now entering production ready. Substrate has entered beta. Modular Control Rig has entered beta. Skeletal Mesh Editing is now production ready. Sequencer improvements with new functionality and improved UI. Deformers integrated into Sequencer. Day Sequence plugin for time of day and environmental effects using Sequencer. Many improvements to performance, render parallelization, shader compilation time, unifying the profiler system towards a single profiler. Motion matching is now replicated by default. Niagara systems, they have simulation caches that are now production ready. Niagara also have stateless emitters that are now production ready. The Mover plugin is improving and includes now, among other things, motion warping, improved root animation and more. Nav mesh improvements like automatic nav link generation. The list goes on and on. If you want to check out more, make sure to download the preview and take a look or go to the roadmap for 5.5. I will have a link in the description. That is going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.